Okay, so last year I was telling a couple of people about what I thought where the meta humans were going to go, and I said, hey, you know, honestly, Epic's probably going to be working on a one-click auto-rigger tool that's going to let you convert photo scanned faces and heads into meta humans. And majority of the people I talked to thought I was crazy. You know, one individual said it was impossible. But to me, meta humans were great last year because of their facial and body skeleton, not just because they look photorealistic. Fast forward to today, June 9, 2022. Here we are. There is a plugin called Mesh to Meta Human. And that's what I'm going to be showing you all today. All right. So to actually download this plugin, go ahead and go to your marketplace. And I did not expect this to be free. I knew it was going to come out. I didn't know it was going to be free. But honestly, I love free stuff. All right. So if you look at this MetaHuman plugin, go ahead and install it to your engine. Obviously, it's going to be 5.0 and mine's already working. And once that's done, go ahead and open up your project, which I already have opened up right here. This is a blank project with a photo scan girl in here. And this is really the reason why I was photo scanning people last year, because uh, I thought it was going to come out last year, to be honest. So I have a scan mesh here. And what I'll do is I'll go to plugins, and then I'll type in MetaHuman here. Now, if you had the window open when you installed the plugin, go ahead and close that and then reopen the editor. And what you're looking for is the MetaHuman. Again, this is very much so experimental. Again, so kind of use it carefully here. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. So I have a single static mesh here with an eyeball, which I think the eye didn't catch. So let's go ahead and import the eye texture. Just replace this one. It's okay. It's the one I was kind of trying out just to make sure everything works because this legit just came out. So go ahead and minimize this. And now we have this character. This is a photo scan character. You know, 30,000 triangles. Pretty good, right? So again, you can use your photo scan from iPhone, reality capture, Agisoft, whatever you have. You can do this now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually create a MetaHuman identity, right? So if I go click right here, click on MetaHuman, go ahead and click on MetaHuman identity right here. And I'll just name this LOL. That's fine. I'll double click this. And then what I'll do is actually choose this component from mesh. And then we're going to go find that static mesh, which is going to be right here. Now I'm going to change this to unlit because apparently it works better in unlit. And what it's going to do is track the face to create some markings. So I'm going to try and get it as much as I can in the, the frame here. And then I'll click on this neutral pose. And then I'll press this plus button. And then what I'll do is right click and I'll have auto tracking on. And it is going to do its thing. It's going to say loading trackers. Uh, usually your first time around is going to take longer, but this is my second time. So I'm not even going to touch anything. I'm just going to lock this, right click lock. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And the next thing we're going to do is after I lock that, I'm going to go ahead and just click this and it's going to create an identity soft. And just like that, it, with one click, we just transfer this mesh into a meta human. And the last thing we have to do here is go to the body and just I'll pick this one because this is the one I use all the time. Normal weight, I'm pretty sure this is because this one's skinny. And then I'll click on mesh to meta human. And what this is going to do is take my mesh right now and take it to the meta human creator. Now, there is some updates that you have to do as far as the bridge go, Quixel bridge. So if you haven't done so, go ahead right here, go to your library and click on plugins. Obviously, I have Unreal Engine 5 running because you actually have to make sure that the Quixel bridge is updated here and make sure that the MetaHuman plugin is also there. So if it's not working for you, make sure that your Quixel Bridge is updated. So this is going to be doing its thing right now. And what I will do is actually go to Quixel Bridge while that's doing that thing. I'm already logged in here, and I'll go to my MetaHumans right here. And we're just going to have to wait for this. Now, they did add some clothes and hair and things like that. We're going to look at that in another video, so stay tuned. All right, and you're going to say, it's going to say your MetaHuman is now available in Creator and Bridge in the MetaHuman section, so press OK. And that's going to go ahead and give you this little MetaHuman icon. I will double click that and I'll say Start MHC, which is the MetaHuman Creator. Now, one of the hardest things about the MetaHuman people, I mean, originally in the beginning, it was OK. We had 50 free MetaHuman people that we can use, but now it's like, oh my gosh, I can recognize these guys from like a mile away. You know, like like the Biggie movie. I recognize those meta humans. But now with this, I can potentially 3D scan faces myself and turn them turn them into a meta human with legit like four or five clicks. 
And this is the power of this because now I can get some unique faces that I'm not going to recognize as meta human. Well, I might still. This is really powerful, even if not a main character, even just extras on the background. So we won't recognize, oh, yeah, man, that's Vivian. <laughs> you know, like we're not going to recognize him right away because it's, it's unique. Right. So now that I have this open, you're going to see your character actually here floating with the gray head. You can actually edit this if you want to. And if you go to custom mesh, you can actually adjust how you want their head to be. But to be honest, that looks fine to me. It's like the default, whatever. It's okay. Uh, and then the next thing to do is obviously get some skin in there. So I'll just click on the skin right now and I'll assign a color. And it's going to automatically apply some skin in there. Which again is freaking crazy. Now, obviously, depending on your mesh, it might not look like the original mesh, but it's pretty close. And again, it's generating a new unique face instead of us recognizing, oh, it's a meta human. And from here, you just customize them like you would usually when using meta humans. So you can add freckles and stuff like that. And again, what is crazy about this is that if I do a face roam or range of motion now, <laughs> this is all rigged facially and body. This, my friends, obviously was meant for video games. But when I saw the meta human last year during the commercials when they were released, this to me is a very powerful filmmaking tool. That's it for this video. I'm going to be doing another one where we talk about all the new clothes and all the new hairs in my next video. Once again, I hit 57K subscribers today. And I honestly, I made a big risk last year when I switched over to Unreal Engine content. And I do truly appreciate you all who pretty much stuck with me this whole time. And for my new subscribers, thank you as well. And yeah, see you all in the next video.